ain't even enjoying Damn, I even dread waking up in the morning Nostalgia begins to surround me Cloud in my vision got me drowsy Forgetting all my plans for the week Lay down on the street and go to sleep Seven years old, just had to worry about my Lego house Now all I hear is friends saying, let's go out But why go out when I've got goals to achieve? Gotta work hard to build my Lego house up in the street Dream world's where I'd rather be Life's a roller coaster, mom, be proud of me And I ain't even falling off once yet But playing as a kid ain't the same as earning paychecks Dear Chris, man, that sounds so official. I think the last time I wrote a personal letter was in middle school to Emma Riddell. <laughs> Most pathetic love letter ever. Maybe that's why I haven't done it since. We've been friends now for like what, 16 years? Fuck, we're getting old. Remember when you got busted for smoking a spliff behind Mrs. Kumar's classroom? She was so furious. I've never seen someone turn that shade of red. They've seriously been the best years of my life. Probably 26 now. You know I am when it comes to real talk. And how defensive you get doesn't make it easy to communicate with you. So that's why I'm writing you this. I don't want to sound like a mature stuck up arsehole, but I think it's time to grab Chris. Bitches, whores, sluts. It's not the way you should call a girl. We've grown out of that. I know I sound like I'm losing my cool, but man, if someone spoke like that about Nina or your sister, I'd want to punch them in the face. Yes, getting laid is a deal. God, we all want that. But seriously, the way you spoke about Michelle on Saturday was not okay. You made her feel uncomfortable and everyone could see that. I was going to tell you that maybe just speak like that when we're alone, but actually you shouldn't speak like that at all. I know you'd say I'm overreacting and that your intentions were different, but that's besides the point. We're men now. We're role models. Maybe if we had better old models growing up, we wouldn't have been such little shits. She cried, you know? I know you're a good guy. More than anyone, I know how kind and gentle you can be. And I want other people to see that. But all they're seeing is this persona you've created, this guy that has to know every chick in the party. They try so hard to impress everyone and neglects his own friends. It's no longer fun, Chris. And I really want to take this in because I don't want to lose you as a friend. But having to defend you and excuse your behavior is something I can't do anymore. It needs to change. I, I love you. But it seems I'm the only one. Please change that. Eddie.